Life on the Red Horse Ranch. Steve Bradford did a rather poor job of explaining to Mr. Carter why he prevented the outfit from putting up a fight when rustlers rode up in the night and drove off part of the red horse herd. And to add to the trouble, rain has prevented their driving the herd on to town. So there's nothing to do but wait, and the boys find that a hard job. Let's join them down in the bunkhouse of the Red Horse Ranch. The West was new, war group skirts and a bustle team. When the engines came and things looked bad, she fit right alongside a great granddad. We can drive the herd over to Denville tomorrow if it rain lets up anymore. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the last job we'll ever do for Carter. Yeah. Don't look like yeah. there's no chance of his holding on to the red horse any longer. Oh. Say, Tex, you're just a fellow we wanted. Grab your guitar and yodel us a tune. Yeah, the oh, train right. whistling blues, Tex. Well, here she goes. Bye. I look out down this road, what I see. Yeah, yeah, what do you see? When a woman gets a blue, she hangs a little head and cries. When a woman gets a blue, she hangs a little head and cries. When a man gets a blue, Grab the train and ride. Yes, I comes around the band, boy. Every time I see that long, lonesome railroad train. Yeah. Every time I see that long, lonesome railroad train. Yeah. Makes me wish I was going home again. Lucky on a coming, coming down that railroad track. 
Look at yonder coming, coming down that railroad track With the black smoke rolling from that old smoke stack Oh, there it is! Hey, I swear, it's gonna fly, boy. I got the blues so bad till this whole round world looks blue So yeah, blue. blue I got the blues so bad till this whole round world looks blue Ain't got a dime, don't know what I'll do. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Tex, did you see anything of Alabama out there? Yeah, him and Tenderfoot's down to past the corral looking at the Alabama's horse. Well, oh, Red Alabama ran off again Alabama. last night, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, that's what Alabama was saying. He must have showed up again just lately. You know, I, I sure can't figure that horse out. It's as smart as a whip and you got it. Well, you just got to tie him down to make him stay put. Yeah. Well, the funniest thing is Alabama can't seem to figure out where that horse goes to. Well, he could <laughs> wander off into the hills without being followed very easy. I'd worry more about Alabama than I would about Red. Well, yeah, that fella's got something on his mind that he ain't telling nobody, unless it's Tenderfoot. Oh, it ain't just that. Ever notice him down in the corral yeah. with that horse? Yeah. Stands there just looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> Looks at his feet and then his mane and then back at his feet. Gives me the willies to watch him. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, hey, yeah. hey, get on in here, Tenderfoot. Here. We're just trying to stir up a little music. Say, I don't oh. think you can count on me, fellas. This oh. rain's busted half the strings on my fiddle. Oh, oh I don't mind this. about that. Huh? There's some bailing wire under my bunk over there. Oh. Try using oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, grab your mouth, harps then, boys, and give us something kind of quick and deadly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. Give me that mouth harp. Well, Come on, fellas, right. back me up. Right in. Still down there in the corral, staring at his horse, Tenderfoot? Why, no, when he left me, he was going up the house to talk to Mr. Carter. Oh. Yeah. Say, what's got into him about Red, Tenderfoot? About Red? Uh, Has Alabama been talking to you anymore? Oh, why, well, nothing special, Idaho. Uh, By gosh, this is the closest mouth bunch of horned frogs around here I ever saw. Well, Come on, boys, start singing another song before I fly off the handle. Yeah, let's sing it. Twilight we will meet and love to 
I'm only asking for a few more days to figure this thing out, and that's all. Ella Bear, uh, I'm sorry, but I just ain't been able to understand you of late. Well, I admit things do look funny, but if you'll just delay closing the deal with Steve Bradford for the Red Horse just a few more days, I've got a feeling you won't have to sell. Alabam, the interest on my note in Danville is past due now. I'll never get enough from that what's left of the red horse herd to pay the interest. Uh, what in heaven could you uh, or anyone do? Well, that's something I can't say now, Mr. Carter. But uh, haven't you wondered why Steve Bradford's so anxious to buy this ranch and every other ranch in the valley that he can get hold of? Yes, uh, but he's made me a fair offer. Uh, I should have sold to him before. It, it would have saved all this trouble with cattle thieves. Bradford's been fair enough to offer me the same price as he did before. Now, uh, well, I've got to sell this time, Alabama. Listen, Mr. Carter, I've been working for you a long time, haven't I? Yes, nigh on to 15 years, Alabama. You've been a good foreman for the Red Horse. Well, have you ever felt or even suspected that I was disloyal to you or to Rose? Why, well, you know I haven't, Alabama. You and the whole outfit have been as loyal as any bunch of boys could be. I, I know that. And then I'm asking you to listen to me, Miss Carter. Put off selling the ranch. Another week, if no more, until I can see if what I think is true. I know it seems funny that I don't want to tell you what's on my mind, but I'll say this much. If what I think is true, you'll not only get enough money to pay off that loan, but a lot more than you ever dreamed of having before. Why, uh, oh, why, 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 what, uh, what could possibly happen to bring that about? But that's what I can't tell you huh? till I'm absolutely sure. Listen, Mr. Carter, if you can't do that for me, I'm asking you to do it for Rose. Don't sell the Red Horse Ranch for another week. Well, this may be my last chance to sell. I, uh, but very well, Alabama. I, I'll wait. <clears throat> yes, I'll wait just a little longer. Good for you, Dad. What will Bradford do next in his attempt to get possession of Carter's ranch? And he still hasn't explained what he wants with all this land. 